Hi everyone, Josh Smith with GuidingTheOld.com. I'm here with the new 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina Display. This is the late 2013 edition. This comes with a fourth generation Intel Haswell processor. This is the middle of the line notebook. The base model comes with just 4 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of flash storage, which isn't enough for a lot of users. $200 more jumps you up to the model right here for $14.99 where you get a 2.4 gigahertz dual core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of flash storage, and we get the new iris graphics and that retina display that we're shooting for. So let's take a quick look at this device, open it up. This is available in Apple stores now as well as online if you're a student or a education staff or teacher, definitely make sure you check out the deals that you can get. Uh, you can save yourself about $100 on the device and a good deal on your upgrades and Apple Care and stuff like that. So we have a pretty typical Apple packaging here. Once we get inside, we have the notebook in a standard little pull tab so you can take your notebook out here. Inside you have your power adapter and this has the new MagSafe 2 so if you are planning to reuse a power adapter that you bought for an older Mac you'll need to get an adapter which will outline it with this new connector. With this we have our slide out plug and what's nice about this plug is it is pretty compact, but if you need to travel and you need an international adapter, you can just buy a small thing like this, slide that on. Or if you need something longer, they include this, basically it's an extension cord that plugs right in and slides in, giving you a lot more room so you can plug in and charge, say in an airport or something like that. Last but not least in the packaging here, we have a Apple Hello Quick Start Guide, some MacBook Pro information, stickers, and you get a cleaning cloth to keep that Retina display looking nice. Let's head over back to the notebook here. So we have a very similar design here, a little lip to lift up and pull the screen out. And so now let's take a closer look at the device. One thing that you'll see here is the display is 13.3 inches. The MacBook Air uses aluminum on the sides here, but with this one we have a black bezel here, mirror-like finish, so while the screen is not matte, it's not as glossy as most, in this area here you will see a little bit more reflection than the actual screen. I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. One of the things that we do get with this MacBook Pro is a nice Apple touchpad. It's nice and large and it's nice and responsive, which is something that a lot of Windows notebooks really still can't deliver. We're seeing better stuff on the Windows side, but Apple really still sets the standard there. Decent size, the ability to use gestures and all that stuff, so that's really nice there. We also have a backlit keyboard, so the keys will light up in the dark and you can do, be a little more productive. Nice key layout here, pretty similar to what we've seen in previous Macs. So we're gonna swivel around and take another closer look here. We can see the ports over here. We have our MagSafe 2, two Thunderbolt 2 that delivers faster data transfer rates than the Thunderbolt found on last year's model and the one from earlier this year, USB 3.0. A combo mic headphone jack, you can plug your iPhone headphones in here and then you can control volume with the little rocker that's on them and also pause and play tracks, handy little feature. Dual microphones gives you a little bit better voice quality. As we slide around to the other side, we have our SDXC card adapter, SD card. XC just means that you can use these higher transfer rate cards in there. HDMI. So with HDMI, instead of buying an adapter to plug in on this side, hook up to your HDTV or a projector while you're presenting, stuff like that. It's a really nice 
and then we have another USB 3.0. Of course, what's a MacBook Pro Retina without your Retina display? With this display, we get a gorgeous, gorgeous display. There's four times as many pixels in the same area, so when you look at this, you have about a 1280 by 800 effective resolution. The actual resolution is much higher, and because all those pixels are crammed in there, you don't see the pixels on the screen, so you get a much more uh, gorgeous display to look at, and while you're editing photos or videos or just browsing the web and using apps that have now been optimized for a retina display, you get a really nice user experience. This computer has the new Intel Haswell processor, and with that, we get better battery life. Apple promises nine hours, and based on what we're seeing in early days with the 15-inch model, we'll probably be able to eke out at least an extra hour and hit 10 hours of use for browsing the web and doing web work and stuff like that. iTunes HD Movie Playback has also been optimized in Mavericks, so we expect to have quite a bit of battery life out of this. Along the back is the same Apple logo that you expect on most Apple devices. And that's a quick look at the 13-inch MacBook Pro Retina. This comes with OS X Mavericks. And with this model here, uh, we also get the MacBook Pro Retina comes with OS X Mavericks built in. That's installed right off the bat. You get a whole iWork and iLife suite free with your purchase. The MacBook Pro Retina is now thinner and lighter than the previous generation. We are, I believe, a uh, little over 0.71 or right around 0.71 inches thick. And we're at 3.46 pounds, I believe, which is about half a pound heavier than the current MacBook Air. And you get a decent amount of power for the trade-off in that little bit of extra battery life. So that's a fast look and unboxing of the new MacBook Pro Retina 13-inch mid-range edition with a Haswell processor. Head over to GottaBeMobile.com to check out more about this device and tune in for benchmarks and video game tests and pretty much everything you want to know about this. Leave a comment and let us know specific questions about this device.